Well, good morning, and welcome to the Langdale Valley. Stickle Gill behind us, and Harrison Stickle just out of the cloud. So we're going to uh, walk south down the Langdale Valley today, a low-level walk, basically along the line of the uh, Cumbria Way. So uh, we'll get on with that. We're entering uh, a more pastoral sort of section of the walk now as we leave the rugged head of Langdale behind. So we'll look forward to that. Oh, cow will be the next place. Now, I suppose you might say that the best views are behind us. Langdale Pikes, Bothell, Crinkle Crags. But, um, yeah, it's still a lovely valley walk. Still a few bluebells out. Well, we're approaching Oak Howe and uh, we get a choice of paths here. The Cumbria Way, which is where we're going, follows the valley bottom. If you turn right, it takes you uh, around to Bays Brown Farm, under Spout Crag Quarry. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go left and through Oak Howe and down to the river. So, oh, cow doesn't farm anymore and hasn't done for a lot of years. The barns are still there and the farmhouse. Farmers put a lot of uh, mangles out for sheep. They need a lot of feed when they've got young lambs, so that's what they do. Over on the hillside there, that's uh, Spout Crag Quarry. Uh, I remember going there as a young lad to see my uncle working. My grandfather took me up. It's a hell of a steep road up there. I'm amazed the old wolves we got up there, but it did. So I said earlier we were uh, going to follow the Cumbria Way, and we are. But um, I didn't explain exactly what it is. So, yeah, it's a long distance path which basically goes from the uh, south of Cumbria at Ulverston to the north at Carlisle. It gives a good overview of the scenery within the Lake District because it goes through quite a bit of rural stuff but also crosses uh, Styx Pass from uh, Great Langdale over to Langstrath and down into Borrowdale. It's a good walk, I have done it a few years ago now when I did it in its entirety. So now entering the village of Chapel Style, although we don't go right into the village, we kind of bypass it, do a loop round the side of it. Um, and the spoil heaps in the foreground there, below the houses, are from the old Thrangbrow Quarry. And I can remember before there was those houses there, kind of ages me. A lot of the quarry uh, tips were taken for roadstone from, uh, from this quarry. The last look at the Langdale Pikes. Well, I've just had my lunch. Sat by the uh, River Brady. And uh, we're past Chapel Style now. You see the church in the background. Yeah, so down towards Elterwater now, under Elterwater Quarry. The buildings behind me are the Langdale Partnership Timeshare. 
But before it was uh, a timeshare, it was the Elterwater Gunpowder Works. All the buildings have been renovated and a lot of lodges put in the grounds. But gunpowder manufacture was a big industry in the lakes, and this is one of the uh, larger sites. But it's good to see it repurposed. Yeah. Well, as we've crossed the Brady for the last time on this walk, here starts one of the easiest miles on the Cumbria Way. Flat. Although I said earlier we take the last look at the Langdale Pike, you do, of course, get an excellent view across Elsa Water. Well, Cumbria Way goes over the bridge and down to Coniston and eventually Ulverston. But we're not going that way. We're going to go down to Scalloth Bridge. I'd just like to say thanks very much for watching this slow level walk down the Langdale Valley. And I'll leave you with an image of Scalloth Force.